The staunchly secretive North Korea has opened its doors to let these celebratory photos out. Published by the government, they show a beaming Kim Jong-un watching Pyongyang's latest missile launch. But while the North Korean leader has hailed that test as being impeccable, the international community has been quick to condemn it. With three previous rounds of sanctions apparently failing to stop Pyongyang's actions, the UN Security Council held another emergency session on Wednesday, with the US ambassador urging more countries to cut their ties with North Korea. The dictator of North Korea made a choice yesterday that brings the world closer to war, not farther from it. And if war comes, make no mistake, the North Korean regime will be utterly destroyed. Haley was, however, keen to stress that Washington isn't seeking and has never sought to open fire on Pyongyang, preferring dialogue to dropping bombs. In that spirit, President Trump has already spoken with his Chinese counterpart with a view to cajoling Beijing into doing more to curb its allies' activities. Russia, meanwhile, has described the launch as a deeply disappointing violation, but added that Washington and Seoul's recent and planned military actions along the Korean peninsula are adding unnecessary wood to the fire. We have long stated that such actions are an irritant that undermine the military balance in the region and they threaten the security of neighboring states. Given that the missile launched on Wednesday is reportedly more sophisticated and far-reaching than previous tests, the pressure is on the international community to find a solution. Canada has already announced that it will be hosting a meeting of foreign ministers to discuss the North Korean threat.